ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي يعلم الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان الاصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحديث حديث محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم شر الامور مختصرها وكل مهتز بدع وكل مبالغ I begin by praising Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. I praise him. I seek his help. I ask his forgiveness. I seek refuge in Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala from the evil of ourselves, from the bad consequences of our deeds. Whoever Allah guides, none can be astray. Whoever Allah allows to go astray, none can guide. He bear witness there is none, absolutely none, who to worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and final messenger of Allah. He is a messenger from Muhammad, from his companions, from his family, from those who follow him in the day of judgment. With that, I remind myself and you all who have taqwa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, every day, day in, day out, we repeat certain phrases many, many times. We repeat certain surah in from the Quran many, many times. We repeat certain verses from the Quran many times. And we do certain actions in a day more than once, many times. Some of us, including myself, do not reflect on what we say and what we do. Day in and day out. Uh, you know, repeated. Uh, what I want to do is I want to take one example and reflect on that. Attempt to reflect on this. I might not be able to reflect on all the aspects of this. Then I am requesting, I'm hoping, inshallah, when you go home, think about in this line and try to reflect with yourself, with your family, with your friends, and to see what actually we are saying and actually what we are doing in our day to day activities. I give an example of one sentence. We repeat what we say many, many, many times in a day. That is part of it. We say, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Or, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Abdullah Rasul. We say it, part of it, after making wudu. We hear it during the Adhan. We hear it in the Naqama. We do it in the Shabbat. And we pray. Right? And in, in, in Qudbah. Now I want to reflect on this. When I did this, I had a workshop with a group of students a few days ago uh, at the university, at uh, Western University. Uh, during that, I raised this issue because they were all practicing, very, you know, practicing among the 
the students, the school students, the university students. Then I said, let's discuss this. What do we actually mean when we say, Ashhadu Anna Muhammad Rasul? Well, before we do that, in our deen, there is a criteria for that. In our deen, anything that I say, anything that I do, we have to base on revelation. It all depends on, based on revelation. Revelation to us is the Book of Allah and the Atlantic Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. And of course, it is the evidence. It is revelation is the evidence. Revelation is the uh, proof for us. Then you come in explanation. Then you try to understand the wisdom behind it. anything that we can know. Now we know that revelation is not corrupt. The Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa took it upon Himself. Allah says, "Inna nahna zala wa inna." that it is he who preserved this. It has been preserved. It could be preserved. You know, it's promised for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now preservation here is not only the text or, or the Quran itself, but it's also the meaning. Because you cannot ignore the Sunnah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and try to understand it. You cannot do this. You cannot separate the Quran and the Sunnah in any circumstance. Why? Because Allah, again, proof of it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَنْذَلْنَا إِنَّكَ الْذِكْرِ Again, dhikr is useful. He said, O Muhammad, I send you a dhikr لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ لَهِ Your duty is to explain to them. So we believe that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has explained to us and what has been explained to us has been also been preserved. Otherwise, it's, it's not a promise. It's a text I can understand differently, you understand differently. And also we know this is an explanation. Because this is a unique feature of Islam. Any other religion, any other deen that you look into, they don't have this. They don't have a proof. They don't have an evidence. We do. They have an explanation. They can explain to you concept. They can explain to you the aqidah. But they cannot have a proof of all the exceptions. We have a proof, we have an explanation given by the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not by the, any time they can have it, not anybody else. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains. The companions explain to us. And the first three generations, they have done their job because they are the one that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you know, خَيْرُ الْقَلْمِ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَرُونَهُمْ خَيْرُ النَّاسِ قَلْمِ the best of them is, 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 is with him, and the second generation, and third generation. And also our aqidah is inconsistent with their aqidah. Because, you know, Anyway, uh, this is the basis. Anything that we talk about this, there is a difference between explanation and the truth. There are two different things. People can explain to you, but it's not enough. We need a proof. Let's talk about this proof about the Messenger of the Prophet, being Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, being the Messenger of Allah. What it means? It means a number of things. First of all, just like Allah subhanahu wa taala says, Muhammad Rasulullah, wa ladhiya ma'ahu ashida wa ta'ala ta'ala. Muhammad is indeed the Messenger of Allah. Allah has chosen him as his messenger. This is clear. And also, Allah sent him with Huda and with, with guidance and the truth. Because Allah says, okay? So now, is he a human being or is he, it has a divine, just like any other religion that is exaggerated for status? So no, he is a human being. But he's a different human being. Receive the revelation. Huh? Good. Good. This is the truth. Now, there are many verses in the Quran that talks about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Muhammad is no more than a messenger, and 
He also tells us that he is one of us studying human beings. And he says, Because he has a special characteristics that you need to him. So Allah Right? And he says, And what seals it? is the fact that Allah made it very clear that ما كان محمد أبا أحد من الرجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين So Allah says that Muhammad is not the father of any of, of, of uh, him except that it, however he is the messenger of Allah and the last and the final seal of the message So this means that he is one of the messengers among the messengers, but he is the final one. Since he is the final one, Allah decided to preserve that message because no more message is coming after him. And that is very significant. That's why Allah has to mention in the proof that he was sent to all. Because previous messengers were sent to specific nation, specific group of people. But here is to all. Because Allah mentioned that وَلَكَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رَسُولَةٍ Every single nation was sent as a messenger and يَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ وَشْتَرِبُ الْتَعْبُودِ To call people to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and to stay away from worshiping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, we understood this. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was our beloved, the final messenger of Allah. Is that enough that we believe in it? Absolutely not. Because he was not sent to us only. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in many places, I will put a top one of them. Kul ya ayyuhan nas, Allah told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, declare to the people, Kul ya ayyuhan nas, inni rasulullahi ilaykum jamira. I was sent to all. Starting from the Muslim, not to Arabs, to all. Now, what am I doing? Am I letting people know that what is the messengers, his mission is to who? Are we doing our job? I want to reflect on it. Again, another verse. تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي نَزَّلَ فُرْقَانَ عَلَىٰ عَبْدِهِ لَيَكُونَ لِلْعَالَمِينَ نَبِيلْ عَالَمِينَ He was sent to entire universe as a war. Again, okay, this, is, this is the same proof. And another place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا Rahmatan lil alamin. Again, Allah sent him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as a mercy to all. Another place, Allah says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا كَافَةً لِلنَّاسِ الْبَشِيرًا وَالْمَلِكًا لِلنَّاسِ all. Now, if we reflect about this, and it is our duty, somehow, to convey that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not exclusively for us. It is for every single human being that you can reach. <coughs> Think about this, reflect on it. See what we can play the role in this. Alright? Also, I want to do what what it, what it is the greatest one of the ni'mah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us. As our scholars pointed out, it is the consequences of the dua that Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam made. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam and his son, Ismail alayhi salatu wa salam, to raise the Muslim. After they finished the foundation of the Kaaba, although they were told to do things, they were the messenger, they are khalil Allah, and he raised his hand and he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from him. Right? Then he went on to make dua. Let me just quote verses that talks about this. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذْ يَرْفَوْا إِبْرَاهِيمُ قَوَائِبًا مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِثْمَةُ وَإِسْمَعِيلُ رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنِّي نَتْعَانْتَ السَّرِيمُ الْعَلِيمُ This is dua. He said, accept from us. In the media, in the media. Then he continued the verse, I'm going to skip the verse that I wanted to talk about. رَبَّنَا وَبَعَ سْفِيهِ رَسُولًا مِنْهُمْ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِكَ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابِ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَيُزَكِّهِمْ There are four things. And he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make among 
his descendants a messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he will be doing four things kathir alayhim ayat he will be reciting the book of allah wa yu wa yu he will be teaching the book of allah wal hikmah will be telling you the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam is nothing but hindi is nothing but the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alaihi and and wa yu zakir Allah mentioned this acceptance of the dua and he mentioned this as a as a great favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us all. When Allah says, Lakad man Allah, Lakad, Lakad man Allah, Lakad al mu'mineen, Ith ba'adha feehim rasoolam min anfusihim, Yathu alayhim ayatihim. Wa yuzakihim, Wa yu'alimu al-kitab, Rahim. So now, if you think about this, you know, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, of course we mentioned he has a, he has a mission, as Allah subhanahu wa said, Ya ayyuhan nabi, inna arsalnaka shahida wa mudashira wa nadira. Okay? And here, he is coming here to teach us, and here is, is uh, nadir, warner, he's warning, uh, giving you a glad tiding for, the, for those who believe in him, and to warn those who disobey him, disbelieve in him, and he will be the witness for us, and witness for the entire mankind. Think about this. I want you to reflect on all this because I don't have time to go over all of the verses. I just want to give you an example that what we need to be reflecting on and what are the role as an individual, as a community, as a whole, what we need to be, what we need to be doing. Otherwise we will go in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we, we, will, we will not have, we will have a different situation, difficult situation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all, inshallah. Now, now, we know that these are the mission of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alright? Now, again, what is our duty first and foremost towards the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? We have to reflect on this. Allah has made it extremely clear in his book, Ya ayyuhal nabina amanu, Adri Allah, Adri Allah, and Adri the Messenger of Allah, Adri Allah, Adri Allah. Okay? And then Allah says, in general, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولِ إِلَّا لِلْدُوَاءَ لِلْدُوَاءَ لِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ Except to, 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 to obey them. Nothing just was said, just to obey them. In fact, Another, there was no excuse for us to understand, to misunderstand anything here. Oh, sunnah is something that is optional. It's not an option. Allah says, وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُلُّهُ وَمَا نَحَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَرْمَهُ When the Messenger of Allah says, give you, take it. When he tells you to stay away from, you stay away from. Why? Because he doesn't speak from his desire. وَمَا يَمْتَقُوا عَنِ الْحَوَى إِنْ هُوَ عَلَى وَحِيُّهُ so I think we need to take it seriously because when I talk to those students, you know, what, what do we mean? What do we understand the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah? Oh, well, Sunnah is something that if I do it, I'll be rewarded. If I don't do it, I will not be punished. Which is a fit to terms. But no, this is what it means. Everything that the Sunnah of Allah give us, it is part of it. It is revelation. You have to follow, you have to obey. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, May you pray a Rasul, to Allah. Whoever obeys Allah, has obeyed the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and so on. So this is for a person for our duty is to obey him. Absolute obedience to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who listen and follow the best way to listen. السلام على رسول الله الله والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا. 
to, to warn those who disobey him. He was sent to teach the Quran and to, uh, to recite the Quran, to teach the wisdom and to purify ourselves. All of these are part of our deen. We have to take it from Rasulullah He was sent to be obeyed. Okay? And also, you know, we really have to love now when we talk about this, we do remember Rasulullah when somebody begin to abuse our Messenger So we pretend to react in a very wrong way. And that's not the time that we need to begin to remember or we need to talk about Rasulullah because we need to educate ourselves, our children, our family and our colleagues, our friends who are not Muslims about the messages of the Bible. So this is our duty. I want you to reflect on this. And in fact, another duty is we, we see some of us, some, some part of the world, and including many parts of the world, and we only remember Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa when he comes to the man of the Bible. And we try to celebrate. Okay? We are not sure our scholars said we don't know what we are celebrating. It was the day that the Sulasal left his community. More so than the ball, than the day he was born. Because in the day he was born was not very uh, very sure that 12 of Rabi Allah was the one. The day he left, most of the other generation said. And the companions were devastated. They they could not take it anymore. They, this is the end of their you know, they, they could change completely onwards, not celebrating it. But we need to think about this, whether we should be celebrating in a different day, different way on a daily basis, rather than once in a year basis. And again, yes, love, we love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi How do we express our love? How do we express the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi We start sitting together and singing this song, we love you. Is that the way the companions did? Or is that the way we should be doing? Or we start emotionally, you know, singing and, you know, doing this? Well, again, we need to reflect on, 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 on things that we do. Some of them has no basis. Some of them has to be proven. That has to be a revelation to back it up. There's no revelation, then no, don't do it. Okay? It's true. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, <laughs> Your, your sons, your, your father, all men come. In fact, we all the father, he said, I love you more than everything else, but not more than myself. He so, said, that's what Allah says, no. He said, no. He said, no. Hatta abu na haba ilay min nafsi. Until you, you love me more than that, then you will have me. So, of course, we won't express that. We won't express that. The point is that, how do we express the love of Allah? The love of Muslims and the love of Muslims. That's the need to reflect on. And at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is a group of Jewish community there. He used to say a lot about themselves. They said, we love Allah, we love, uh, you know. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said a simple verse in response to this. What, what, what this 
an extent that individual responsibility is. Because yes, there are things that beyond us, we will not be asked, we will not be questioned on the day of judgment. There are things that are within us, in the, in the individual is responsible for them. Are we neglecting those or not? It's very important for us. If we are neglecting, we are not going to be in, in a good shape. And reflect on it. This is an example, and I am hoping that you go home and especially things that are repeated, <coughs> phrases that are repeated, things that are the prayers, the, the surah fatiha, whatever is being repeated over and over again, okay? that is a message in it. And we need to reflect on it. Once again, uh, you know, it is the duty of every one of us to learn our religion, not to be stay passively reacting on an emotional basis. Knowledge is, we need, you know, every time there is a, something happens, our scholars remind us that we need to knowledge. We need to educate. That's the only way out. Knowledge and following. Knowledge and following. And most of our problems will be fixed if we follow the way of the messengers of Allah. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا